as the grand solar minimum sets in, we are seeing more and more episodes of larger and larger hail, and this is going to be the future. So under these conditions, every conventional greenhouse is subject to being destroyed by one of these hailstorms, and that brings up an issue about what can we do to defend ourselves against that, as well as what can we do to produce food in spite of that problem. And here's one solution that I think is possible, which is taking a garage and in effect turning it into a greenhouse by turning the garage door into a large light source. So here you have a typical San Francisco Mission District garage door at about 9.15 in the morning on March, no, it's April the 4th. And this would be a candidate for that kind of treatment, I think. So this is a plan for converting that opening into a light source. Basically, you're looking at making a frame of two by twos and covering it with some kind of glazing material, some kind of rigid glazing material, I think. And this could be anchored into the door frame by using a couple of drywall screws on each side, or alternatively, you could use the kind of shims they use when installing windows and basically put them at the ends of the horizontal members. This would be something that you could open up in the morning and then close at night or when you were away for security and for whatever insulation value the, the door provides. So here, if I open this door, you see that light is penetrating into the interior and this would do this for several hours during the morning on a typical spring day. This isn't set up for it right now. This is my junk collection. The idea would be to get large rolls of reflectorized mylar, which you can buy from places like Home Depot for not very much money. And then you would put a layer of this on the sidewall, left and right. And perhaps you could find a way to rig it on the top as well and in the back. And what this would do is this would maximize the amount of light you have coming in and reflect it around inside the garage. It would also be a good idea to paint the floor white to increase the amount of light that is captured in by the plants. And along with that, you could probably figure out some ways to rig some lights inside, some 5K or 6500K uh, lights as I've done in my little growing area here. You could also use a space heater during some parts of the year to get the temperature up to a comfortable level or keep it from getting too cold inside. You can get these thermostatic plugs for greenhouses that will turn things off and on within a desired temperature range. You would not want to do this with a garage door that faces north. Basically, north walls lose more heat than they gain throughout the course of a year because they don't see the sun. East walls and west walls break even south walls are net gainers of heat so if you had an east or west facing door you can consider using those you know south is ideal but east or west is workable you might think back to the time when they started to use fruit walls to gain growth those basically ran on a north-south axis so they could pick up the morning light and also the afternoon light and capture heat 